Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we're going to do a viewer requested video where we test a variety of bulbs, including halogen, LED, and xenon, in a 2.5 inch projector retrofit. All of these bulbs are H1s, and we're going to build a special mount, uh, just janky cardboard and poster board to support it and we're going to measure brightness and do a beam pattern analysis against a garage door outside in the field. Let's get into it. The first thing we have to do is clear away some of this stuff so we have a clean work surface. All right, we're going to grab some of our poster board and figure out an approximate diameter here. All right, we'll cut out a circle from that and see how well it fits. That doesn't appear to be a circle though, but let's keep at it and see how we do. There we go, a perfect fit. All right, let's cut that off. And now we'll make another one for this side. We now have our front and rear support plates. Now we need our main structure plate, which will go between the two and hold up the light. So let's cut a circle out of this. There we go. Let's try and assemble everything and see how it looks. All right, a little tape will hold that steady for us. All right, we'll add a little bit more tape around here to just make sure it's completely stable. All right, we now have a platform with our light on it, but it won't stand up by itself. So we'll grab a couple of these. And we'll glue some supports into place. Now we'll let that cool. And then we'll attach some rearward support braces. All right, with that, our test bench is now complete. We can now install bulbs in this back opening here. 
and retain them with the spring clip. Whatever I did with that. Looking, looking, there it is. We'll retain them with the spring clip and every bulb will be exactly aimed the same. Let's move outside and start measuring. Here is our current setup on a simple small table pointed at a garage. You can see that we are about, I'd say, 36 feet away. And if I turn this on, you can see our marker lines. We're going to use these lines up here to verify that we always have the correct alignment of the projector and we will measure the brightness in these six spots. We will start with our halogen bulb and then work our way through each of the LEDs and then our xenon bulb. I'm just gonna run through and I will put up the measurements over each. And we will also be running everything at 14.4 volts. Here we are back in the studio for our conclusion. Before we get to that, first I'd like to thank anyone who's watched this far into the video. And if you enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Next, let's talk about each bulb. Uh, our halogen bulb was drawing an insane amount of current and the brightness was all over the place. Clearly the H1 mini projector was not designed with halogen bulbs in mind. So this trash. Next, I'll put a link to the individual video reviews for each of these bulbs in the description below. But this one did surprisingly well. I normally have a bit of disdain for dual-sided LED headlight bulbs, but as we saw, it was only using 33 watts and had the overall brightest upper level and a fairly decent uh, bottom row of brightness. The issue I have with this particular bulb is the heat sinking just doesn't feel adequate. Um, after a long time, it does start to feel rather warm. So we'll have to see how the uh, longevity of this bulb holds up and the control box gets very warm. Next are these two. These two are virtually identical bulbs, but this one has a larger heat sink, allowing it to operate at a slightly lower current draw because it's not needing to pump more power in to get a, uh, a stable brightness. So of these two, this one appeared to be about 10% brighter than this one uh, in each of the measuring spots. But both of these are a little lackluster compared to our best bulbs. Next, our overall, my preferred choice of LED is this uh, s and H1 available on eBay. Again, the full review on this bulb will be in the description below. Uh, this one was drawing 29 watts and had a 
very even brightness across the top or really the midfield brightness and the lower or uh, closer to where the vehicle and the ground meet was a respectable uh, about 220 lux average. Lastly, the Zentech Xenon bulb was running at 47 and a half watts after it had stabilized and had a, uh, a respectable um, overall cast of light. It did have a few hot spots with the center being over 400 and everything else being below 325 but it was fairly stable and it did have that crisp cutoff line. Uh, actually, of all the bulbs, this one, I believe, had the best beam pattern, but that could have also been from a little bit of uh, looseness on these uh, base plate adapters. I may have bumped them and not had that fully seated but we were pretty close and overall i believe that this beam or this bulb had the best beam pattern followed by the zentec xenon i hope that you enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun making it and i hope that you found some of this information useful if you did Give me that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and consider visiting my Patreon page at patreon.com slash jamesthelightguy and help support the channel and future videos. Until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.